What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Toxapex off meta team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Toxapex, this Pokemon is more for support and stall, and that is exactly how we're using it today. Toxapex is rocking the regenerator as its ability with the leftovers as its item, and then a great move set of haze to take away stat changes, icy wind for speed control, wide guard to protect us from double hitting moves, and last but not least, it's got toxic to put badly poison onto opposing Pokemon. So I love Toxpex, super strong Pokemon, super great Pokemon for late game, can stall out no problem. But our restricted Pokemon for today's team is going to be another off meta Pokemon. It is going to be Ho-Oh. Regenerator, just like Toxpex, with the clear amulet as item, and then I love its moveset of Sacred Fire, Brave Bird, Tailwind, and Protect. You got Speed Control on this Pokemon, plus you can do some big time damage with stab moves. Our final four Pokemon on today's team, Follow suit with off meta. You got X Drill and Titar for that weather sandstorm combo. You got Landers in the Styrian form, which I haven't seen or even used in so long. And last but not least, we got Raging Bolt, who is our only meta Pokemon. Protosynthesis, Safety Goggles, Thunderclap, Thunderbolt, Protect, and Dragon Pulse. You guys seen that Pokemon plenty of times before. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Toxic Pack off meta team going up against a trick room squad here in match number one with ice fighter calyrex torkoal galade ting lu and then they got fluttermane and tornados now fluttermane most likely has trick room on it considering it is rocking or is in a trick room team so i wouldn't be surprised if they lead fluttermane or calyrex two pokemon that can pop trick room and honestly galade can pop trick room too so we're gonna have to watch out for that before our lead i kind of like physical attackers Considering they have no Intimidate and Ting Lu kind of lower special attacking. So I could just go T-Tar and x -Drill, which honestly wouldn't be bad, especially with that choice ban. And I kind of like it. I definitely kind of like it. So I'm going to end up leading both of them. And I'm going to get after it with that. I'm going to bring Toxpex in the back end. And then last but not least, probably ho is going to be great, especially if they do set the sun. We can do some big time damage. I'm all about it. I am all about it. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But honestly, I'm... I like Theory and Landers here. Like, Intimidate works so well, but I figured Ice Rider Calyrex would have that clear amulet, obviously, because that's the best item for any physical attacking restricted Pokemon. It's just been all over the meta. It's just such a good item. But yeah, I haven't used Theory and Landers in so long. I feel like it just fell off. It just completely fell off. Nobody uses it anymore. And that, that, that trainer just threw out his Pokeballs without no animation. That was kind of funny. You guys might want to rewind 10 seconds to check that out because it's just so funny. But they're going to end up leading Ting Lu alongside with Tornado. So they could set Tailwind if they would like. I wouldn't be surprised if they do so. Um, I could go Brick Break here. I could just stick with Rock Slide Stab, which isn't a bad play for me. I could Terra, but I think going into just a nice Stab Rock Slide is in our best interest. Right? We got the Salt Vest. I do like this. So we're just going to throw a Rock Slide at the side. And from here, I kind of want to throw an EQ. I would love to go for like a Ground EQ. I might just choice into... Uh, I wish I choice into Iron Head might be in our best interest. Hmm. I think we choice into Iron Head. And we just straight up attack. Yeah, I'm cool with choice into Iron Head here. So I'm going to go after this Team Lou. He's just going to pop a Rain Dance. Take away our Weather. Okay, so Weather only really gives us speed, which is no big deal. A little bit of defensive bulkiness, but I don't I don't mind you changing the Weather, right? It doesn't really give you that much of an advantage. So we're able to do some nice damage with Rock Slide and Iron Head. And we get a flinch, so this is a solid turn for us. So he's going to set up Tailwind, most likely. And I'm just going to go into another Rock Slide and another Iron Head. We still should be faster than this Ting Lu, so I'm all about this. I'm all about this. You might even protect Ting Lu. If I were you, I'd probably protect Ting Lu and just sacrifice the Tornadus by dropping a Tailwind, right? Makes the most sense. But again, they could have Tailwind users in the back end, which wouldn't be bad. We're just outspeeding here. No Tailwind popping out here, so this could be a really good turn for us. So hot start for us. We like this. What are you going for? Bleak Wind Storm? Is that, is, that, is that what's going on? Or are you turning off your console? I think they turned off their console. It, it, it sure looks like they turned off their console. Middle of turn? It just stops playing? No, it didn't. Okay, cool. So Bleak Wind Storm flies. We're soaking that up, no problem. And Rock Slide should finish this Tornadus off. As long as it lands, as long as it lands. We know my RNG, not too good. But it's landing. Cool. So Tornadus gone. Wow, I really thought they turned off their console. But still, they have a lot of different options they could still go into. They go into Fluttermane here. Who could be a tough customer? We are choosing Iron Head, which is awesome. So, Exedril starting us off hot here. You guys know I love me some T-Tar Exedril combo. Let's see who they end up bringing out here. 
It's gotta be Calyrex, right? It's gotta be Calyrex. This connection's going slow today. Is this on my side? Is this on my side? Hopefully it's on her opponent's side. Look at him, he's inside the trainer. What is going on there? What is that? What is that? I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not one bit. All right. So from here, we could just sacrifice your T-Tar. I could hard swap T-Tar if I really want to. Um, I am scared of both these guys, actually. I would love to just go for an Iron Head into Fluttermane and maybe just hard swap T-Tar with that best. Just to waste out turns. But honestly, Toxpex, how slow are you? You might be slower than that Calyrex. If I get off a Toxic onto that Calyrex, that can be mighty fine. So I'm going to go into Toxic Specs here, swap our T-Tar. And I'm just going to look to drop a nice big time Iron Head into this Fluttermane. So I get to swap a T-Tar because I really want to just put a Poison onto this uh, onto this Calyrex. Or go for a Wide Guard. I mean, Wide Guard could be really good for us. Wide Guard could be really good for us. What What is that? What's going on with these animations? Blowing my mind right here. Blow my mind. He ends up going electric. Right in front of my ground type Pokemon. Electric Terror type onto the Calyrex. And he's going to go for a Dazzle Gleam, which is totally fine by me. I'm able to soak her. You popping Trick Room? What are you doing? So Iron Head should finish you off unless you're sashed. You're sashed. You are sashed. Now, are you popping Trick Room? If you pop Trick Room. Now, you're just going to go for a Glacial Lance, which is fine by me. So, I mean, should I go for Wygar next turn? I mean, you take out my extra drill. I think we have to pop Sandstorm here, just so Buffett can KO the Flutter main. And then I think we just Y guard. Or again, I could just go into a, what's it called if I want to, a Toxic into Calyrex. Or I could just Y guard, play it smart. Play it safe. I'm gonna Y guard with Toxic Specs. I am just gonna throw a Y guard with Toxic Specs. You got two double hitting, big time hitting moves. We might as well go into a Y guard. Actually, do we? I mean, Dazzle Gleam's scary. Yeah, we're gonna Y guard. Just make sure this uh this thing goes down. So we're gonna Y guard. We're just gonna go for a Rock Slide. I mean, I have Brick Break. I got Knock Off. I could take off a Clear Amulet, but is that really gonna do much? No, we're just gonna go Rock Slide here. So I want to set the Sandstorm just so we make sure Fluttermane dies out here, and we're gonna go for this uh this Y guard because most likely they are popping Dazzle Gleam, and I really don't want this Fluttermane doing big time damage to Titar, right? There's Y Guard. There's Dazzling Gleam. Nice block on our end. Are you going for Glacial Lance? That's the real question. So Fluttermane's going to die out here regardless if we land our Rock Slide into it due to Buffets, which is great. And Rock Slide, we have a chance of flinching here, which is good news. Do we get the flinch? The flinch would be lovely. The flinch would be lovely. The flinch would be huge. The question is, do we get it or, or do we not? And it's like lagging. It's like not connecting this is definitely our, on our opponents and because how many videos have i recorded in sword and shield nowadays we're well, not sword and shield wow i really said sword and shield i missed the sword and shield days but how many videos have i recorded in the uh in the scarlet and violet days over 500 probably i've never had to be this slow but honestly i'm still scared of this pokemon right here this calyrex is scaring me this Calyrex is scaring me because I'm sitting here with Ho-Oh and we kind of just have to attack. I'm going to go for a Sacred Fire, look to get a burn. Kind of go from there. I still have Terra, don't I? I still have Terra. Do I Terra Grass? No, Grass really don't help me. Grass really don't help me. I think just going into Sacred Fire here and maybe just going into this because if I had to guess, I'm probably going for a high horsepower here. Or do I just stay my typing? I really don't want to go into Flying and have you... Actually, you know, we're, we're going to go for the flinch here. I was going to say, I really don't want you to go into flying and you just drop a Glacial Lance. That could be terrifying. So I'm going to Terrastalize. I'm going to hope that it's high horsepower. And we're going to look to get after it. Because as long as I land both these moves, I think we should be fine. As long as you don't pick up a double KO with Glacial Lance. That'd be scary. This Pokemon's scary. Calyrex is scary. The so Sacred Fire is going to mit No shot. No shot we miss. No shot. We're going to lose on that, aren't we? We're going to lose on that. Can we get a flinch? Help us out. He goes for high horsepower regardless. That's a great terror on our end. Great terror on our end. But we would have won this match if Sacred Fire just landed. So I'm going to go for another Sacred Fire here. Or should I go for Brave Bird? Honestly, Brave Bird's going to be not very effective. So maybe we should just stick with Sacred Fire. Yeah. What's your accuracy here? 95 and you're missing. I need you landed. So we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to switch to knockoff here because I really don't want accuracy screwing me over. I'm going to go for knockoff and Sacred Fire and look to just win this game. Yep, Sacred Fire lands this time. That should be game. Brings you down to red. And I get a burn, which is awesome. 
and we're good though because knockoffs 100 accuracy now it finishes off the game so great terror on us to finish off this match gg to our opponent moving on to our second match and this team worked perfectly the sandstorm squad got things started extra and t-tar doing big time damage toxapex came in that back end dropped a big time y guard then ho-oh cleaned up the mess but we're hopping into our second match going up against a pretty strong trap ghost team with whimsicott screamtail fire ogre pond and dd and last but not least they do have reggie drake a great pokemon so i, I could see them leading um Terrapagos. that could be a lead whimsicott too because probably whimsicott has sunny day and I think can just take weather control from us. But who should we honestly lead here? I mean, we do have Raging Bolt, which I kind of like here. I kind of like Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt's not bad. But I mean, that Reggie Draco with Wimshot combo, it's not looking too good for us. I mean, I could lead Ho-Oh and maybe just Tailwind up. Kind of go from there. That's not bad. Um, I could maybe go Fairy Terror Raging Bolt. That's not bad. I'm really just scared, more scared of the... Uh, of the dragon energy so you know what we might just go into toxapex here and just Y guard it right if they do decide to do that so toxapex is going to be pretty good here we're going to look to just put some poisons on deck we're going to bring the sandstorm combo in the back end play that late game and kind of go from there i kind of like that i like toxapex here Y guard looking real nice looking real nice you got terra star storm that i gotta deal with and what move was i just about to say terra star storm and dragon energy Two moves, double hitting, very powerful. We gotta watch out for that. So wide guard could definitely clutch up for us. And dude, what is going on? What is going on with the trainers today? This is this is freaking me out. This is this it's starting to feel like it's me. Is it me? Look look at the what is that? What's going on? What? I can't even see what's going on. And then it switches that. That's not even the trainer. All right, we're going to have to deal with that. But Reggie Draco and what's called come out here. Reggie Draco and Wimscott come out here. So I am just going to pop a wide guard. I'm going to pop a tailwind, master tailwind speed. And we're going to go from there. We are going to go from there. So let's see what Wimscott does. Probably pops a tailwind and they're looking to go for a dragon energy. We're going to hope that's the play because then I could just start getting after it that way. And yep, there's Dragon Energy. Beautiful. So we go Tailwind for Tailwind. We wide guard this one. Do I go into another wide guard? That's, that's the real question at hand. That is the real question at hand. Most likely, right? I could slow him down a little bit with Icy Wind. I could slow him down with Icy Wind if I wanted to. And just go for Sacred Fire into Wimscott. Wimscott could taunt me. Do I go into wide guard here? Hmm. I think I don't go into Y-Guard. Dude, this thing's freaking me out. I think we should go into an Icy Wind here. I don't think they go for another Dragon Energy. You're going to Cotton Sport me. All right. So you're going to Cotton Sport me. You're going to lower our speed. That's fine. And you're going to go for Draco Meteor. Okay. Can I survive this? I do. Beautiful. Not a bad turn for us. So he lowers my speed. He's going to lose some HP and drop its special attack. And Sacred Fire is going to fly into Whimscott. Bring this thing on the one. Give me a burn. No burn. It don't matter. We got Icy Wind flying here regardless. So Icy Wind's going to fly out here. Which is good. We get the burn. We did get the burn. But I mean, Icy Wind's clean up this mess regardless. Now comes Icy Wind. Reggie Draco is lower on special attacking right now. So next turn might be a really good turn for us to throw a Toxic on the whatever Pokemon they throw out here. And maybe swap our Ho-Oh and get some Regenerator HP back. That's not a bad call. I could set the Sandstorm. I could do a good bit. I could do a good bit. But yeah, this whole trainer thing's kind of throwing me off. Look! Look at the trainer again. They're back inside of each other. Something's going on with the Pokemon company. And I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. It's different from what I normally go through. I don't want this. It's freaking me out. I feel like a jump scare is going to pop out on the screen. And, and I'm just going to cancel my channel and never record again. But it's that same trainer with the hat. It's the same trainer with the hat. But Terrapagos hops on the field. Uh, Reggie Draco, I'm not too worried about. I could just protect you. I could hard swap into like Hitar here with the vest. Which is not a bad play for us. And then just like try to throw a Toxic on to. On to Serapagos. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I can see Reggie Draco even swapping here. So we're going to swap our Ho-Oh. Get that Regenerator HP back. And we'll go from there. I can see you land this Toxic. This Toxic is big time news for us. So I'm going to kick up the Sandstorm. I do have Vest on this Pokemon. And dude. I don't like this. I don't like this. Mm -mm. Someone let me know in the comment section down below. Is this also happening for you guys? Is this also happening for you guys? 
But they're gonna Terrasilize. Probably go for Terra Star Storm. That's fine. That's fine with me. You actually take away my Sandstorm, which kind of sucks, man. Earth Power is gonna fly here into my Toxapex. Can you soak this Pex? You don't. You get absolutely dumped on, and I lose my Sandstorm. That's crazy. Toxapex dying out here. And what are you going for? Trick a meter again? Yeah, you're just lowering your special attack. I got Vest. We're fine. We soaked that. So we soaked that. I can bring back out Ho-Oh if I want to. Uh, bring out... You could be pretty good. Maybe just start throwing EQs with Choice Band. And swapping into Ho-Oh. Just so we can get our, our uh, weather back. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. So I'm going to go into EQ here. I might even terrestrialize EQ here. Just look for some damage. Because what could you go for? You could go for Earth Power. Do I really want to Terra EQ? Not really. Not really. I don't want him having a super effective shot on me. That's my whole That's my whole problem here. So, you know, I'm going to just swap into you. I'm going to launch an EQ. Not Terra. I'll just go from there. We're going to choice into it, though. All right. So, they took out my Toxic Specs in one turn, which really sucks. It really does suck. Let's see what they go into here, because I got EQ flying here. They're going to swap their Reggie Draco. I really want that Toxic Specs for another turn. Would have been real nice. Is that Toxic on- If I would've just had a Toxic onto that, uh, Therap Ghost, that would've been big time news, but I really thought they were gonna go for Terra Star Storm. With that Terra. Are they gonna go into Scream Tail here? And- WHAT?! WHAT?! Why is that thing floating like Mute Mewtwo?! WHAT?! Nah, yo, this game's on something else. This game's on something else right now. This game's different. It's real different. It ends up sticking with Earth Power, which is fine. It's not fine. It ends up KOing us still. I was going to say, it shouldn't have the Terra Boost, and it just rips into me. And now Tailwinds are gone. Yo, what is going on? I get back out Weather, though. I could go into a Terra Boost here. Um, do I? Do I Terra Slice? How is good on its typing? Yo, this is terrifying me. I don't like this one bit. This is scaring me. This is scaring me, but I'm going to go Sacred Fire here. And on top of that, I'm going to Terrasize you, and I'm just going to a Brick Break here. I need to get rid of this Trap Ghost. Yo, this thing is scaring me. It's withdrawing you. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's okay, actually. They're probably going to win this match. I really need that Poison onto the attack Specs. But yo, that I'm just staring at this screen tail. Does it look like Mewtwo? How Mewtwo levitates? Nah, yo, this, screen, dude, this game's freaking me out right now. Someone let me know in the comment section down below. Is this happening to you guys as well? This is weird. This is weird. They end up swapping perfectly in the Reggie Jericho. We end up terrestrializing, which really sucks. We're kind of just reading a high horsepower here. Or not high horsepower, an earth power. And now Terra is not going to benefit from us. It's not going to help us out. So we got Ho-Oh on the field. Ho-Oh can do some nice damage. And he's just going to imprison right here. So what are you imprisoning? Protect, maybe? Wait, what you got imprisoning here? Second Fire still does a decent amount of damage. We do get a burn. We do pick up a burn, so burn and buff with damage will help us out. How much damage is Brick Brick going to do is the real question. Enough. Brick Brick does enough, which is huge. So Buffett's going to finish off him. We can double back into this Terrapagos here and Scream Tail. I don't know what, you, what you're doing here. What was your Imprison? The imprison Protect, maybe? Most likely, right? You don't want us protecting. I'm curious. I'm curious. You might have imprisoned Trick Room Protect in one other move. But Buffett's chip up a little bit more damage here. Not looking too bad. I mean, it's going to be close. I mean, Terra Star Storm could really just rip into us. Which is the scary part here. So I don't think Sacred Fire can pick up a KO. But I'm still going to do it. Do we go Sacred Fire or do I just go Brave Bird? We might as well go Brave Bird. We're looking to do as much damage as we can. We'll go for Brave Bird. We will go for a Brick Break here. You're most likely going for Terra Star Storm. You're just going to disable Sacred Fire. So good thing I switched moves. Gr good thing I switched moves. Good thing I switched moves. So T-Tar most likely dying out here. You do have Vest, but this is super effective, right? Yeah, you die out here. And honestly, Brave Bird, I don't think you're KOing. But if you do, you might, you might die out to recoil damage, which would be terrible for us. Let's see, Brave Bird coming in hot here. How much damage are we doing? Not quite enough. Not quite enough, and then we take a nice chunk of recoil damage. Buffets fly through here. And we're going to end up losing this match. 
Man, if the Buffets KO'd there, that could have been massive. And honestly, I die out the Buffets anyway. GG to our opponents. We're one and one. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Final match on its way. Looking for a 2-1 winning record with Toxapex. And I love Toxapex in this position again. It's got wide guard and block. Ice Rider, Calyrex, Glacial Lance. Plus, we can throw some more Toxics on the field. I mean, we haven't been able to land a Toxic yet. But hopefully, this match, we can actually do it here. They got a pretty meta squad. They can lead Frigraph. They can lead Amoongus. And Sinwar, a great lead as well. Um, who should I honestly lead here? Because Fake Out is just an issue. Fake Out and Intimidate is just an issue. I don't like that. So maybe just going into like Clear Amulet Ho-Oh could be pretty good for us. And Toxapex could be pretty good for us. I mean, I like both of them. But I think they go Incineroar for Regraph or Incineroar Calyrex. And then we can't, we're going to have to kind of go from there. So I'm going to go Toxapex. I'm going to go Ho-Oh here. There's two Pokemon that don't have to deal with Intimidate. Um, in the back end, I could go Raging Bolt for some priority. Could be pretty massive for us. And last but not least, do I just go Choice Ban Extra on its own? Or do I go Titar? Titar with Vest is pretty good. But Choice Ban Extra could really get after it. But, I mean, if they do pop Trick Room, I don't know how to feel about that up against Calyrex. But you know what? I'm going to do that. I like Choice Ban Extra, especially if I can just get off one turn with that thing. He can do some crazy damage and pick up a KO if you need me. So, I like it. I like it a lot. I was going to lead Titar Extra, but I mean, if they lead Incineroar, which they're most likely going to do, it's just going to be a problem. And even if they don't lead Incineroar, they can just hard swap into Incineroar, intimidate two big-time physical attackers, and really take me out. And yo, this game is going crazy today. It's just it's just not having fun today. It's just not having fun. This is just getting real ugly. Not good for us. Not good for us. I don't like this. <laughs> this game is acting so weird. But... We're still recording. We're still here. He's going to intimidate us. Um, he's probably going to fake out one of our users. Probably going to be Ho-Oh. So I'm going to throw Toxic over into Ice Rider Calyrex. And honestly, I'm just going to double down with, with a Sacred Fire. Just in case he fakes out the uh, Toxapex instead. Let's see. Yep, he fakes out the Ho-Oh, which is fine. I mean, he's going to go fake out into a... It seems like fake out into a what's called is probably the play. A Trick Room, right? So we get off a Toxic, which is pretty good. So we can slowly deal some damage here. Uh, Trick Room does fly out here. Incineroar could parting shot into me. Into my Toxic specs, if anything. And if I had to guess, he's probably rocking High Horsepower, right? <clears throat> high Horsepower Glacial Lance. Most likely to set. I mean, we could Y Guard here. Um, I could Terrasilize first into Bug, just so we don't have to deal with uh, High Horsepower. I could Hard Swap, too, into maybe, like, Extra Drill. But, I mean, if you're going for... Hmm, this is tough. What do we think you're going for? Can I just wide guard this? I think I just wide guard this. You could be going for Glacial Lance. You could be going for High Horsepower. Man, do I Terra wide guard? I could use my Terra. I could go Terra wide guard. And this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Terra wide guard. And I'm just going to go for a Secret Fire into this Calyrex slot. Just look to keep dealing some damage onto this thing, because he's the big threat. Calyrex is the big threat. They're going to Terra Wide Guard. I don't feel like dealing with High Horsepower. I don't feel like dealing with Glacial Lance either. So I think this is our best play. We're going to go from there. And then we can definitely probably see a knockoff flying through from the Instant War slot. If I had to guess it, right? If I had to guess it. So there goes our Wide Guard and our Terra. We got a nice little Bug Terra on Toxpex. A nice big time Poison onto Calyrex. And he's going to go for that Glacial Lance. Cool. The Wide Guard helping us out. We're going to be able to hit this Calyrex really hard. Maybe even take it out. Combination of Poison, Sacred Fire. All that good stuff's looking good for us. And there's a knockoff, which I don't mind. I mean, you can knock off my clear amulet at this point. We already got some some value out of it. Sacred Fire does connect, which is big, and it picks up some nice damage. On this thing. Beautiful damage flies out here. Um, we just go for another wide guard. I think we have to go for another wide guard. Why is it? What is it, Sinner? We're doing. You guys saw that. Yo, this game is freaking me out right now. Hmm. I could hard swap maybe into. Nah, I think we just keep Toxic Specs on the field. They're probably going for Flare Blitz most likely. Honestly. I'm going to go in the Rage of Bolt here. Actually, yeah, we're going to go in the Rage of Bolt here. We're going to keep our pecs. I swap my Ho-Oh. Are you kidding me? Okay, he swapped Incineroar, so that works fine. I swapped my Ho-Oh, really? I really swapped my Ho-Oh. I want to swap Pex. I really want to swap Pex. 
I really want to swap packs. Now, if you go for Glacial Lance, it's a problem. But we got no sound animation coming out from Incineroar at this point. It's swapped with no sound. <laughs> with not a single sound. It's just, this game is just acting weird today. He's going to go into Frigoriff, which is fine. Let's swap our Ho-Oh. Looking to just do poise damage. I really want to swap our Tox Specs here. But, I mean, we got Rage Bolt. I can't go for first-time priority, but I could protect uh, Rage Bolt next turn, which is good. We're going to go for another wide guard. Hopefully, he's just spamming Glacial Lance. That'd be in our best interest. And he is. Cool. So that, that turn actually works out fine. So Poison's going to chuck up some more damage. We could just protect our uh, Rage Bolt at this point. And maybe just try to throw a Poison over onto uh, for a graph. You, we got you on 1 HP. We got you on 1 HP. So again, I'm going to go for Toxic here. And I'm just going to protect Rage Bolt. So Toxapex. Throwing some Toxic rounds. And they just cancel battle. So they got pretty annoyed at that one. We'll take that win all day and go 2-1. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. This off meta Tox Specs team grabbed themselves a winning record. Tox Specs actually killed it in that third and final match. If they would have played that one out, I feel like we would have won that one regardless. Tox Specs was setting up another Toxic onto Ferrigarath. And honestly, Caldrex was dying that next turn due to poison. But love this team so much. Off meta, going crazy. We had Ho-Oh, we had Extra, we had Titar, Rage Bolt. And honestly, the only Pokemon that we haven't used was Lander. So I don't think we'll be using this Pokemon for a while, to be honest. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.